Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. Salutes of the Economic Offences Wing arrested Wednesday three persons in Bhubaneswar for their alleged involvement in an interstate job scam. The three were identified as Mohammad Sanaullah and Sakshi Jain both from Hyderabad and Surat Dalai from Balasore. The job racket was being run from Delhi and Mumbai and was active in six states including Odisha. A woman Maoist identified as Ungi Madhvi and involved in at least 21 cases surrendered before the police Wednesday in Malkangiri. She has been involved in cases of violence also including an IED blast and ambushing of security forces. Police said she was carrying a reward of Rs 1 lakh on her head. A woman was found dead Wednesday in Kustuna Forest under Badagaon Police Limits in Sundargarh District. The family of the deceased who had gone missing from Tuesday alleged that she has been murdered. Police have detained a youth in this connection. Residents of Jakekala locality under Sundargarh's Bonai Police Limits detained four forest department officials Wednesday protesting against elephant menace in their area. They said that two tuskers have been on a rampage for the last couple of weeks. They alleged that despite repeated complaints, forest staff has not taken any steps to drive away the elephants. The Odisha High Court issued a stay order Sunday on sand mining following the notification issued by the Odisha government allowing the same. Earlier December 21 last year, a petition was filed in the High Court over illegal sand mining in Katak citing that such activities are leading to a rise in accidents and dust pollution. The Congress declared Wednesday that it would skip the massive inauguration ceremony being planned for the Ayodhya Ram Temple. It said that the temple is a political project of the BJP and RSS. Congress Chief Malikarjun Kharge, his predecessor Sonia Gandhi and the party's leader in Lok Sabha Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary had received invitation for the inaugural ceremony. Police sources in Goa said Wednesday that Suchana Seth, who was arrested Tuesday for allegedly murdering her four-year-old son, has denied the charges. During interrogation, Seth has told the police that the child was already dead when she woke up in a service apartment in Kandolin. The sources added that the post-mortem report has revealed that the child was smothered to death when he was asleep. The National Green Tribunal has issued a notice to the Union Ministry of Defence and two others regarding the alleged felling of trees by the Army headquarters in Delhi's Central Ridge area, sources informed Tuesday at the National Capital. The Green Panel was hearing a matter in which it had taken Suomoto cognizance of a newspaper report about the Army headquarters felling trees while clearing an 8.78 hectares area. The Congress said Wednesday in New Delhi that the Manipur government has denied it permission to start the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra from the palace grounds in Imphal. The party asserted it is determined to begin the march from the northeastern state and said it has sought permission for another location in the city. In a major relief for Imran Khan's party PTI ahead of the general elections, a high court in Pakistan declared Wednesday as unconstitutional the Election Commission's decision revoking the party's cricket bat electoral symbol and rejecting its organizational polls. The Peshawar High Court directed the electoral body to return the Pakistan Tehrike Insaf party its iconic cricket bat electoral symbol back. Afghanistan will be without their trump card spinner Rashid Khan in the three-match T20 series against India starting Thursday in Mohali. But skipper Ibrahim Zadran was upbeat about the team's chances in their strongest format. Rashid had undergone a back injury after the ODI World Cup and is still in rehab. Zadran informed Wednesday. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.